Okay, hi everyone. I thought it was about time that I did a sales update and I haven't been doing my, you know, when I sort of record them as they're going out, I haven't been doing that. Um, so I'm going to do a screen share one. So um, I'm going to try and select things. Well, I have selected a few things that have been, that I've shown in um, pickups videos uh, and then just a lot of the other things, to be honest, I've just shown on Instagram as well. So I'll run through uh, them now. I would say this is probably going about, I've selected a few um, for about maybe a month back or so. So um, this Paul Smith shirt, it's an extra large size. I struggle to sell men's shirts, um, but I recognize, you know, that obviously the brand Paul Smith and the fact that it was extra large. I don't know if I'm going to bother with men's shirts in a medium and small size, to be perfectly honest, because uh, I struggle to sell them. Um, yeah. So uh, I think I pay, I picked this up in a charity shop. I wouldn't, I don't think I paid more than three pounds for it, um, but that went for $14.99 um, plus postage. Um, Long Tall Sally. I nearly didn't pick this up because I thought it was a bit plain and I got this off. Um, it's a lady who holds back clothes for me at a car boot. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got it off her. Um, so I paid £2 for it uh, and I decided just to list it a little bit higher than I usually would. And I listed it at £17 um, and yeah, that sold maybe within about um, well, definitely within two months of being listed, uh, possibly even 30 days. So, yeah, I was quite happy with that uh, in the end. And that's a size 18 as well. Long Tall Sally is a nice um, brand to look out for. Um, this Masters of the Universe bundle, this is one of Jamie's. Um, we had this listed at 99 or best offer for ages um, and had a few offers on it. Um, in the end, what I did is I just took away that £99 best offer and just went to our buy it now um, sort of lowest price and then it sold pretty much instantly. I know that Jamie got a big bundle of stuff uh, that he paid £40 for and this was part of it. So. Uh, I'm not sure what this exact set cost him, but yeah, he he got 70, uh, 75 pound for it. Um, yeah, uh, this Jack Will shirt, I paid one pound for this. I was talking on the um, to a few people on Instagram about this. Uh, Jack Wills being a bit of an iffy brand, some stuff will sell really quickly uh, and then some stuff tends to sit around um, and I think people were generally saying that it, like the shirts like this, the classic shirts and the hoodies, um, they tend to pick up but anything else they sort of leave behind because it tends to be a bit slower selling but yeah, I paid £1 and that went for ten ninety nine plus post. Oh, this was quite cool. This is one of Jamie's pickups. Um, Disney Athletics Donald Duck um, basketball vest. Strange one. But uh, he paid £3 for it and took an offer of £15. Um, and yeah, I'd say that sold within about three months or so. And that was quite an unusual one. Oh, one of Jamie's. Uh, he picked this up at the car boot last weekend for £2. I know nothing when it comes to football shirts, but whenever I come across one and Jamie's not with me, I will FaceTime him and be like, okay, is this a good shirt? Because I don't know anything and clearly he does. Um, so yeah, he paid £2 for this and it sold probably within three or four days for the full asking price. Uh, I was keeping an eye on the listing, so he listed it at you know, £100 or, or best offer and I saw it was getting watches really quickly. A few people messaged us about us, you know, saying it was a little bit too pricey for them. But as I noticed it was getting watches, what I did is I actually just snuck back into the listing like I sometimes do and I took best offer off. Uh, and then it sold overnight, woke up to this sale uh, and it went off on the uh, GSP program to America. So yeah, Manchester City shirt. Um, that was a, a brilliant sale of his there. I showed these in a video, I think a few videos back. Uh, I think I paid £2 for these ladies' Clark's ankle boots, size 6, so that's a nice size. And then, you know, the sort of um, dark tan leather or even, you know, tan leather always um, do well. 
uh, a nice autumn boot there. So yeah, I paid two pound and they went for three uh, for twenty three pounds. These are men's Adidas tracksuit bottoms. I think I showed these in a pickups video where this guy was like selling a load of Lego, but he was also selling his own like Adidas, um, loads of Adidas stuff, all just for fifty p. Um, so that that cost me fifty p. Um, Adidas joggers always tend to be able to get around the fifteen pound plus postage mark on them, so that was a nice one. Um, this is a vintage monsoon dress um, that was in Oxfam. You can tell by the label there, um, and it was at three pounds. But this sort of Lagen look, I think that's how it's pronounced, style has sort of really come back into fashion, which is what helped me get the higher um, price for it. Uh, so yeah, that ended up going for thirty pounds, and I think that took less. That was um, within two months that sold. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with that one. Uh, one of Jamie's pickups, I think you pay three or four pounds for this, um, a kicker's coat. Uh, I had it listed quite a while, obviously it's been listed all throughout summer um, and now the coats and things are starting to shift. Um, I actually retook the photos on this, I've been retaking photos on some of our older listings that need a bit of work um, doing to them. And then yeah, it sold um, quite quickly. I, obviously I, I can't tell if it sold because it had a better photo or if because we're coming into the coat season basically. Um, oh yeah, and um, this one did have a slight rip in the um, fabric as well and still managed to get that price. I would have gone a lot higher um, if it wasn't for that. I would have probably gone for about 25 and upwards if it wasn't for that. Oh, this was such a shame. When I saw this, my heart, well, first I got really excited because, you know, it was like um, a very nice vintage made in Great Britain, Laura Ashley um, dress. I think Caroline um has mentioned if you get the made in wales ones they're the ones that go for for great many i saw this and i thought this perfect it was one pound but it was absolutely ruined there were holes in it there were rips in it everywhere and i thought i'm still going to pick this up um somewhat you know the stain all here someone will hopefully <laughs> um you know bring it back to life uh so yeah i listed that at um 10 pound plus uh, five pound postage and again I'd say that took about three months to sell and the buyer actually wrote a message in saying that she loves the style of Laura Ashley dresses and that she um, repairs them and fixes them so you know hopefully she'll be able to do that yeah I was gutted it was in such a poor state but I kind of didn't want to just leave it behind as well just to go to the rag man. Um, French Connection, such a iffy brand for for me. <clears throat> so it's a small size dress. It's new with tags, and the um, RRP on it is is one seven five. I always think that French Connection is one of those brands where they price really high, so that then they can you know thirty days later or however long later say oh, look how cheap this dress is now. We've given it a 50% discount. Uh, it's, it's a brand for me that either sells really quickly or just sits around for ages. So I listed this, had it listed at about £75 for ages, dropped the price, and then eventually someone sent me through an offer of um, £40 and I just took it because I have had it listed for, for well over six months. Uh, I paid £5 for it, so still a really nice profit in it. But yeah, it did, did take a... A good old while to sell. I just thought I'd show this because all it is is like a little inflatable toy that was free from a magazine. Uh, I think someone sent an offer through four pounds, which we took. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. She uh, left feedback saying that I think her friend has a sports bar over in I think it's one of the Canary Islands, um, and so that she <laughs> she sent this out to her friend. But I just thought that was a really funny sale had these listed well and this was really like top end price for them uh, these vintage um, Jurassic Park Kenner figures uh, I paid £5 for these and um, probably took about a year to sell um, but got £20 for them you can see there by my postage being two ninety nine. that it was a long time ago that I listed these but yeah glad that I did stick to that price um, oh, Jamie showed this, I think, in one of his videos. He paid £1 for this um, Ferrari like model car, uh, and that went for £20 plus postage. I think that went GSP as well. Sorry, just taking a drink. 
Oh, this was amazing. I found this in British Heart Foundation and it cost me £7 altogether. They actually split the set up. It's like, how dare you split this set up? It belongs together. Um, so yeah, I put them back together, um, put it on um, at £30 and someone actually came and picked this up locally. I don't do that too often, but... I was in all day, um, and so, yeah, um, they came and picked up, paid, uh, made an offer of 25 which I accepted, and uh, that went locally as well. It did have, like, some marks on the fabric to it, um, by the on the back, by the pockets, which I just pointed out. Uh, yeah, but that's a great sale, that. I just love that. <laughs> that's uh, just a brilliant piece. Um, I paid £5 for this. Um I think I actually took an offer of £16. I don't think I got 18 I think I took an offer of 16 That's a Bowden skirt. Um, yeah, size 14. Quite a light, um, nice, loud print. Um, yeah. Well, this is one of um, Jamie's. It's uh, It wasn't intentionally supposed to be this way. So he's a Spurs fan. Uh, and he ordered <clears throat> two of these shirts because he wasn't sure which one was going to fit him. And then all of these shirts, in the meantime, went out of stock. So his plan was he was never going to return the, um, the the shirt that didn't fit. He was just going to sell it on eBay and just try and get his money back. But in the meantime, all of the shirts went out of stock. So he put it on at what he thought was a really high price at £70. Uh, and it sold within um, about an hour of being listed so yeah he managed yeah that was brilliant because he i think he paid 20 pound each for each shirt um so he managed you know essentially get his shirt for free sell this one and still make a profit uh so that was a nice one of his and he showed this in a video as well i can't remember what he said that he paid for it but it did sell really fast you know when you think that possibly undersold uh i think it went abroad to the netherlands um yeah i'm just cycling top jersey uh, for £12. Pounds. Uh, I think this is this is one of his as well. I feel like when you get a Harry Potter book, and you know, obviously you go via like Bloomsbury, um, Ted Smart, what the wizard on the back is and, and whatnot, I feel like you can almost sometimes just make up any price that you want and people sometimes just pay it because when you look through completed, there's no sort of... Um, there's no pattern as to pricing. I just feel like you can just sort of make up any price and uh, and go with it. Um, this is a jelly cat uh, that I can't remember which one of us picked this up, but anyway, it went. I think it was actually Jamie who picked this up, and that one went for um, thirty pounds. Uh, it was like a special um, edition one called Darcy. It was like a, just a brown one, brown and white stripes. So uh, yeah, that was um, that was a great sale, and I'd say that sold within about um, two months as well. Uh, this was something that was returned to us, um, a Yamaha system, uh, and so <clears throat> it got returned to us and it wasn't working when it was returned to us, and um, so we split it up, we sold the, the, or he sold the unit for spares and repairs, and then he sold this um, for £20, he took a best offer of £20 just for the remote, uh, and that went abroad to Germany, I think. Oh, this lady's white stuff coat. I paid two pound for it. <clears throat> Size ten. I just thought it was quite a um, nice autumny one. I think I showed this in a video, and that sold really, really fast. In fact, it sold on the same day that I listed it. It sold really fast. So, um, other ones had gone for thirty pounds, but it makes me wonder if that one sold really fast as well, and possibly could I have got more. Um, but anyway, two pound into thirty. I'm happy with that. Oh, the Betty Boop travel suitcases. Um, I picked, um, I picked these up at the car boot, and I paid seven pound for these two. Uh, and then I showed it was a Sunday, and I went again the next day, and someone else had picked up one of these and held it back for me, the medium sized one, because they do come in a set of three. I said in the video, I want to get all of these three listed together before someone comes along and buys these ones. And then obviously what happened is someone came along and bought these ones um, before I even had a chance. It was on the, on the same day that I picked up the third case. So um, yeah, I paid £7 for these two uh, and they went for £50 um, plus postage. Uh, and they are used, so I was very happy with that. And now I've still got the third one. I still need to get that one listed as well. It's a shame I couldn't put all three together. This Furby, uh, Jamie paid £1 for it, which was such a good price. Um, <clears throat> came with the box as well, uh, and that 
sold within 30 days for £25 plus post. This was given to me, um, I bought a load of uh, vintage clothes off one of the dealers and he just threw this in for free. Um, none of the clothes are sold yet but this blanket has actually covered the price of all of the clothes. I paid £11 for all of the clothes off of him. Um, yeah, so um, the freebie has actually paid for all the things that I got. I was intending to make um, the profit um, from. Uh, so yeah, I got £15 for it. Oh, uh, I picked these up in a charity shop. They said weightly. I wouldn't have looked at them, but um, I didn't know what they were when I picked them up. And it's only because the charity shop had written inside saying that these are weightlifting, weightlifting shoes. I thought they were like bowling shoes. I was so confused as to what was going on because, yeah, they were just quite strange. And again, they sold really, really fast. Uh, I paid ten pound, and I think they sold. I listed them. They sold the next morning for seventy pounds. Um, so I was really happy with that one. And one of Jamie's again. This one has sold about three times, but has never got posted out because <laughs> uh, people message us afterwards saying, "Oh, can I cancel it?" He paid fifty pound for it. It's new, um, but because we bought it in a charity shop and obviously the charity shop had to pat test it before they could sell it, they had to open it up um, and just pat test it. So just explained all of that in the listing. Um, and yeah, so paid £50 and then that one went for, um, I think, sorry, it sold a few times, which is why I can't remember now, but I think that actually did go for £190 um, the third time round. I don't think that we did take an offer on it the third time round. Uh, but yeah, so um, 50 into 190 in one of Jamie's, so yeah, it was really nice. Funai DVD recorder, VHS as well. Uh, that was a good one. Oh yeah, the duvets. I'm going to do this one at the end. One of Jamie's pickups, he paid £3 for this photo frame um, and got £20 um, plus postage. And this um, kimono. I didn't think that it had actually been worn because it still had a sticker on it, but I, I wasn't, I couldn't, I wasn't so confident that I could put new. Um, and in the end, I took an offer of it was forty-five pounds including postage, so it was a whole round of forty-five. It was this really like beautiful kimono. Um, it had a little sticker saying "Made in Japan" on it. Yeah, it was very nice, and really hard to photograph. Uh, but I paid £7 and I got 50 for it and sold fairly quickly. It's an um, extra large size as well and um, got lovely feedback from the buyer um, on that one. So going to these duvets, I showed, I picked up four duvets. It was a Masters of the Universe one, Ghostbusters one, a Thundercats one and a Thomas the Tank one, which hasn't sold yet. Um, that's, I think it's listed at about £20. So the Masters of the Universe, this one here, I, it's, it's amazing to me that people will pay this much for a used duvet, like, you know, with bobbling and one popper doesn't work as well. Um, I pay, uh, I took an offer of £50 on this one, so it cost me one and I got £50, that was amazing. Uh, the Ghostbusters one, I converted this to an auction at the same price, at the same buy it now price, like starting, so I started the auction because I listed it at 30 had listed at 30 for a while, got some watches, converted it over to an auction, ended up going for £34. Again, that was these were all from the same person. Um, that cost me a pound. And then the Thundercats one. Um, you know, some bobbling, the poppers work, there's, there's even some tiny holes for the fabric, you know, please see the photo. The person paid full asking price, they paid £70 uh, for that Thundercats duvet. So always, always check your duvets when you're out and about because some of them hold uh, really good value um yeah uh so i think that's pretty much everything that i want to share there uh, i'll try and get some more videos out in the future um thank you for watching and i will speak to you again soon